Hi YouTube, this video is going to be a um, quick setting for uh, fixing the problem with your PSP when you're trying to connect to the internet and um, you're getting a message saying Wi-Fi is not supported. Um, last night I tried to connect to internet after uh, uh, more than a year or so and um, for the first time you know, I tried to and I got this error message and it wouldn't even let me um, choose the uh, Wi-Fi and you know enter the password and everything like that. Um, recently we've gotten a new modem from um, from Verizon Fios so I thought that might be the problem because all the other devices at home that we have they were um, they're you know connected to the internet uh, with no problem. So after doing a little bit of research um, and watching some videos online on YouTube um, which some of them weren't that helpful at all and some of them were awake um, turns out to find out that the new modems uh, from Fios uh, Verizon, they have a, a new security feature. Um, in the case if you don't know what a modem is, um, um, this is, uh, let me see, this is how a modem looks like on a Verizon. Um, just showing the picture. Um, different, different ones right here. So, um, since PSP is an old um, gaming console and with an old technology, um, so this uh, one doesn't support the new technology features. So after doing the research, um, I found out that the um, old routers uh, or the old modems, um, they have the um, WPA security feature. Uh, what that is is that it will it will not allow any outsiders uh, connect to your home internet and possibly steal your internet and your personal um, information. Now the new routers, um, such as uh, Fire Verizon, they have a new security feature called WPA2. So um, PSP won't recognize that. Um, for that reason, it cannot connect to the internet. Now there are some ways to get around it, um, such as um, setting up the PSP's uh, wireless connection uh, manually, which I personally found that very hard because um, you have to know your IP address, which finding that is easy, but then again it has some other settings, um, IP number and everything like that, that um, it's, it's really hard to find. Um, some information there on your routers, but rest of them you have to find it out and then that's like um, I found it impossible to find out all those settings and put it in it manually so um, what I did is um, well first of all make sure your um, internet switch is on your wireless uh, switch is on to the right all the way to the right and what you need to do in this case um, using the uh, Verizon Fios is um, get online with your home computer or your laptop. Um, okay, let me see. All right. Uh, and, um, well, here is the um, um, web page, if you will. Um, just type in 192.168.1.1. And just like hit enter, and that will connect you to the Verizon's um, uh, internet setting. So basically, here you could do anything um, you wish to your internet settings, um, such as changing your password or um, finding out how many devices have been, you know, connected to your internet. But anyways, um, all you have to do is um, come to the wireless setting and go to the advanced security settings. Here at the advanced security settings, um, you're going to see your level one, is, which is your security for your wireless um, router. Um, there are three options. One is WEP, one is WPA, which is the old security version. Now, third one is WPA2, which uh, is the new technology that um, they have put on the routers and also if you see it says an enhanced version of the WPA. Um, 
so um, basically pretty much if your PSP cannot connect to internet that means that your security has been set up automatically um, as WPA2 and that's the reason that your PSP cannot connect to the internet uh, all you need to do is um, select the WPA so what you do you're changing from the uh, the modern security feature to the back to the old version and um, then you're gonna apply the changes well um, uh, it doesn't show the uh, apply button here because um, um, I have timed out on this uh, website so that's why it's not showing but um, if you do it and if you select WPA it's just gonna give you an option saying that apply so what you do you apply it and um, you should be good to go after that um, just go regularly search for your uh, wireless connection name uh, and then hopefully your PSP will be able to uh, find the uh, find your wireless and connect to it and then um, um, you will just uh, enter your password and everything like that. Um, so after applying and changing it uh, back to WPA, you want to go to your setting, um, all the way down network settings, select it, um, select the second option, and um, you say new connection, and basically you scan it. <coughs> Excuse me. And you scan it and here we go this is the uh, this is uh, my internet right here and the rest of them are picking up from the neighbors that says not supported so basically they are WPA2 but this one right here since I changed it to WPA it's allowing me to you know um, choose it and you just choose and um, rest of it should be okay for you and um, you just uh, enter your password and everything like that. i um, just gonna show you a quick view of that uh, this is connecting to internet now. Go to the PlayStation Store. Bear with me because this is not the end of the story. Um, there are some, some other uh, things involved with uh, changing your internet setting to WPA. I just want to show it to you as a proof that there we go. Now, uh, immediately last night, immediately after uh, me changing the internet setting back to WPA. Now, what is the difference between these two? As I as I told you before, um, WPA two is the modern version, so you have more security uh in it so it makes it um, harder for hackers or you know outsiders to get connected to your internet um so you know um immediately after me changing the internet setting to wpa um suddenly my laptop stopped uh having connection to internet and um, this was only true for my personal laptop but all the other devices um, such as my ps3 um, PS Vita, uh, my smart TV, iPad, my smartphone, everything, they were, you know, even the printer, they were perfectly connected to the internet except my laptop. So um, if you're going to have that issue, um, go ahead and open up your, um, your uh, connection um, center and um, here you're going to see a cross mark. This is, by the way, my internet um, this is called PVNB3. You're going to see a red cross mark and saying that it's not connected to the internet. So what you want to do is you right click on the name. You go to the properties. It's the third option. And uh, as soon as you go to the property, as this um, page opens up, it just like pops up. All right, let, me, let me try it again one more time. Just want to get everything. Okay, hit on the wireless connection. Um, hit right click on it properties and this will pop up and um, um, you want to change it from WPA2 personal to WPA personal so before um, your laptop you know was connecting it as a WPA2 now you have to change it back to WPA with, with um, this being said 
um, changing your security feature does not affect your username and your password that's just only a security feature that's all it is doesn't change anything but for some odd reason my laptop wouldn't recognize it and all you have to do is just like change it back to WPA and then enter your password uh, make sure you know your password already it's just confirming your password that the old same password that we we're using not any you know you don't need any new password or anything like that and just enter your password in there and then um, hit OK and you should be fine. But now after doing that, um, I thought to myself that, uh, well, hey, maybe, you know, um, if I change it, you know, leave it on WPA, someone from outside, you know, might be able to hack into our internet and, you know, steal all your information, all our information and everything like that. So I was like, you know what, um, just for one device for a PSP that God knows how many times in a year you might use it, maybe once or not. Um, so I was like, doesn't worth it, and um, you know what, let me go back and change it back to WPA2. That's what I did. Immediately after, you know, um, connecting my PSP to internet and, you know, fixing the, uh, the, the problem with the internet connection that I had my laptop, um, I went ahead and um, changed it back to WPA2. So I changed it back to WPA2, applied the changes and everything like that, and um, you know, and and then it was working fine. And I was like, you know what? Now let me see if uh, uh, if PSP is gonna be able to get connected uh, back to internet. So I thought it might not, but turns out that it did. And um, the reason behind it is I'm guessing that. With the um, with the WPA2 being up after that, I changed it back to WPA. The PSP was able to pick up the IP number and routing number and all those information automatically. So, um, like I said, when you you could have also set this up when you were doing new connection, you could have set this up manually um, enter SSID number um, choose your security setting um, like enter your WEP key and has all the other um, nonsense stuff so um, you know after changing it you know back to WPA PSP picked up everything that it needed it all the encrypted codes and everything like that that doesn't care if you change it back to WPA too so there you go um, if you don't wanna um, you know um, jeopardize your security just for a PSP all you have to do is go to your internet router setting change it to from WPA2 to WPA uh, get connected, scan it, find it, get connected, and go back to your internet setting, and um, change it back to WPA2. And it's still, then um, still your PSP will be able to work. Um, this was something that I did on my own experiment, and um, it might be um, your your experience might be different from mine. Uh, probably if you're using a different company, um, I don't know Comcast, Xfinity, um, Dish, or whatever might be different but this is why it worked out for me and I hope it works out for you too. Um, leave comments below and let me know what you think and thank